this is video number two in part B of my AutoCAD training video series for lab surveyors. In part B, video number two, we are going to be learning how to plot solid bearings at distances. So we have the list of bearings and distances linking six solid points. From point one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and six back to one. Our distances are in meters, while our bearings are in degree, minute, and second. So at the end of this video, we are going to be plotting this surveyed area using bearing at distance method in AutoCAD. So in order to plot In order to plot using bearing at distance in AutoCAD, there is a general syntax used in achieving that. And the, six, the syntax is by typing on your command line the at symbol, then followed by the distance, then followed by the less than symbol, then followed by the bearing. Let me show you what I'm talking about in a Microsoft Word document. On your command line, after picking your line command, you are going to type the at on the command line, then followed by the distance of the line, joining the two points, then followed by the less than symbol, then followed by the bearing between the two points. So if, for example, I'm to plot this first line, joined by point one and point two, the syntax on my AutoCAD command will look like this at 15.56 less than 225 degree 00, 00 minutes 00, 00 seconds note that degree in AutoCAD is represented by small letter D small letter D degree is always small letter D in AutoCAD so the syntax to plot the first line will look like this. So also the syntax to plot the second line will look similar to this. Only that the distance and the bearing will change. So continuously till I plot the whole lines in my, of my survey area. So let's switch to AutoCAD environment and see how to plot using bearing at distance. So I will launch my fresh AutoCAD application, after which I will go to the format menu and then set my units. So in the length type, I will select decimal and then in the position of the length, I will select to three decimal places. Then the unit, my distances are in meter, so I will select meters. Then the angle type, it should be degree, minute and second. The precision should be degree, minute and second. Then the rotation of the angle is always clockwise. So I'll select clockwise. Then the direction. My base angle direction is from the north. So I'll select north and click on OK. Then I'll click on OK to apply my changes. After setting my unit, then I'll save my drawing by coming to the file menu. Then I'll select save. From the save dialog box, I will navigate to wherever I want to save my drawing and then name my drawing and then click on the save button so this time around i want to save my drawing in this folder and then i will name it drawing number two and then i'll click on the save button to save my drawing so after saving your drawing and setting your drawing units the next thing you do is to plot your solid bearings and distances so to do that, the first thing you do is to pick the line command. After picking the line command, then you click anywhere on your screen once. When you click once on your screen, then on the command line, you will now type the at symbol, then followed by the distance between point one to point two, then followed by less than, then followed by 
the bearing between the two points. And in this case, the bearing is 225 degree, 00, zero minutes, 00, zero seconds. After typing the bearing, then you press the enter button on your keyboard to plot the first line. So you can see I have plotted the first line successfully. So the next thing for me is to plot the second line. I will type at on my command line. Then I will type the first the distance. Then the less than symbol. Then the bearing. In this case, our bearing is 298 degree, 298 degree, 15 minutes, 29 seconds, 29 seconds. Then I will type, I will hit the enter button on my keyboard to plot the second line. So this is the second line. I have plotted the second line successfully. I will do the same thing for the third line. At then I'll type the distance between point 0.3 to point 0.4, which is 36.62. Then the less than symbol. Then the bearing, which is 304 degree, 57 minutes, 31 second. 57 minutes, 31 seconds. Then I'll hit enter on my keyboard to plot the third line then for the fourth line i will type the art symbol on my command line and type the distance then followed by the less than symbol then i'll type the bearing in this case is 49 degree 58 second 11 minutes 49 degree 58 minutes 11 seconds then I'll hit the enter button on my keyboard to plot the fourth line so the next thing I'll do is to plot the fifth line so on the command line I'll type the art symbol followed by the distance 90.55 then followed by the less than symbol then followed by the bearing which is 136 degree 47 minutes 24 second 47 minutes 24 seconds i'll hit the enter button on my keyboard then the last line 30 at 30.36 less than then the bearing 162 45 31 162 degree 45 minutes 31 seconds then i'll press the enter button on my keyboard to plot the last line so i've successfully plotted my solid lines using the and distance so i'll hit enter to terminate the command so this is how to plot using bearing and distance and if you switch let's compare what we have in the AutoCAD to this final drawing can you see what we have here is the same shape with what we have in the AutoCAD environment so basically that is how to plot using bearing and distance in AutoCAD after setting your units and saving your drawing you will type on the command line in this format at the distance less than the bearing after picking your line clicking anywhere on the screen then you type in this format at the distance less than the bearing for all the lights to plot your drawing to plot your solving area using bearing and distance so with this I think I have come to the end of this video tutorial and our next video will be
plotting using scripts in AutoCAD. See you then.